Chris Widger is looking up at Gonzalez as Gonzalez strikes out. There's one out here in the first inning. You feel the pain. I think we can all relate to how yes. that must feel. Double play ball. I said they were one of the best. They don't disappoint. 6-4-3 and Tomko and the Cardinals breathe a sigh of relief. But Pryor's doing it, trying to figure out a way to get Pujols, and I think he figured it out. Breaking ball to end the inning, and the Cardinals go 1-2-3, and we got an early glimpse at how good this right-hander is, and so did Pujols. After one, no score. Patterson can fly. That gets past his bat, and it's out number two as Tomko picks up his second strikeout. Good inside fastball from Tomko. Finish thus far. Should end the inning. Vina takes care of O'Leary. Two hits, two left, three on the day for Chicago. Pryor trying to pitch around an error, which started the inning. Can. Breaking ball, Drew is gone. Second strikeout for Pryor, and this game gets to the fourth. You can send us questions, complaints. To his left, Renteria. Just got a gold glove award before the game and doesn't disappoint. One out. Tomko is being careful with Karras. Backhanded pick by Roland. Another gold glove award winner. Two out. Second to knock the ball down. They can't make a play. Should end the inning into center field. That'll give me more time to type. All right. Jim Edmonds. Another gold glove award winner. Three of the four gold glove award winners from a year ago helped on outs in this inning. How about that? There's a strikeout prior wanted. One out. Edmonds was running a moment ago. Moving again, another strikeout, and they have Edmonds hung up. Now Pujols coming to the plate, and the inning is over. So a strikeout, then out stealing, and the inning comes to a close. And now Pujols is jarring with a home plate umpire, Mark Hollowell, because of that 3-1 strike call to Renteria. So a big chance for the Cardinals, and the big young pitcher, Mark Pryor, gets out of it. First place, Chicago Cubs. Won't take advantage. Out is Vina, in is Edmonds, and Vina takes it away from the center fielder. The inning is over. One on, two out, two balls, two strikes, and the inning comes to a close. Oh, my gosh, the inning came to a close. Tomko got out of it. Woohoo! <laughs> See? I could keep from doing it. No score. 1959. The bunt is a fair ball. Harris fires. Good play by Lenny Harris. First had to decide whether he'd let it roll or pick it up and try and get the out. Two out. No score. Sixth inning. Renteria off the end of the bat. Broke his bat. The inning is over. Each side now has left the bases loaded in an inning today. And there is no score as we go to the seventh. Mark Pryor leads it off, seventh inning, and he hits one into deep right center field, well hit. Back at the track at the wall, it's off the wall for a double for Mark Pryor. He is doing everything he can today. Here's a 2-0 pitch to Alou. Into right field, J.D. Drew on the run, long run. He can't get there, it's a fair ball. One run scores. Here comes O'Leary, and now they've called it a ground rule double. So O'Leary will go back to third, but the Cubs have taken a one to nothing lead. To the shortstop, Renteria. Harris not running well, doesn't run, and the inning is over. Moises Alou hitting cleanup, puts Chicago on top. It's time to stretch in St. Louis. One zip, one one pitch. Widger takes a fastball, just poured in to strike two. And now Tony LaRusso and the home plate umpire, Mark Hollowell, are back into it. And LaRusso has been kicked out. And so now he'll get his money's worth. Third questionable pitch. Called by Hollowell as far as Tony La Russa is concerned. The high fastball to Renteria. That is the key pitch in this game. You can just see him right there say it. If you can read lips at all, you yeah. can see him talk about Renteria. Mm -hmm. So he's still hot about that pitch. The pitch to Widger doesn't really matter. Yeah, at the time, there were runners on at first and third, and one out with Renteria the batter. 
and it was a 3-1 pitch. So had the pitch not been a strike, obviously the Cardinals had the bases loaded and one out. As it stood, Renteria struck out. Pujols was tagged out on the attempted double steal. And that's why La Russa is in on this argument. He's already been run. Cardinals Ochoa ended up in Japan as Vina grounds to Karos. That's easy, and that's the end of the seventh. So Tomko is finished. Klein will take over, and Fryer keeps on rolling. Hard hit. JD Drew. A leap and a catch. One out. Drops down at the last minute and then goes up to make the catch. You often hear that the toughest ball hit to a center fielder is the ball right at him. Right fielders, too. And to left center field, well hit. Patterson on the run. Diving catch by Patterson for the first out of the inning. What a play by Corey Patterson. Remarkable play when you consider that the ball is going away from Patterson to Pujols, who's hit nine home runs. That's down the left field line. This ball is gone. Ten home runs in a 1-1 game. A 3-2 pitch. Two out. Edmonds really struggling at the plate. On one and two. Roland strikes out, and Remlinger does his job, comes in, strikes out Edmonds and Roland. Buddy Harris got the start today, and Bellhorn hits it to deep left. It's two to one Chicago on a home run by the pinch hitter Bellhorn. While names like Hillenbrand and Lowell and others are bandied about as possible trade baits, so to speak, for the Cubs, here's Bellhorn pinch hitting and hitting a home run to put the Cubs back out in front. Dusty Baker is saying to himself, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Who's been the closer? Saves the last two games. That's the third. Tough play. Roland with a backhanded short hop pickup. And the inning is over. That sets up the bottom of the ninth. Joe Borowski coming in to try and close it. No fans come alive. That advances the runner. Gonzalez gets the out at first, but Martinez does his job. And now a former Cub, Miguel Cairo, will come up with his chance to tie it. Borowski needs a strikeout. And he gets a pop-up. That'll do just fine for the Cubs. Two out. It takes a hit. Big pitch by Borowski running in on the hands of Cairo. Into right field. There is O'Leary on the move, and the game is over. Cubs win it a final of 2-1. to one. Pitching dominated today, and it's the Chicago Cubs bullpen that beats the Cardinal bullpen. And these two teams have split the first two games of a four-game set. Things were laid out uh, pretty well for the Cardinals with Renteria opening the ninth with a base hit, stealing second base.